Hello, one and all. This is Luckless Lovelocks, and welcome to the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. This is, for those of you that aren't familiar, uh, supposed to be a prequel to Life is Strange 2, which is coming out September 27th. And uh, it just released as I'm recording this, and it's free, so you can check it out if you want to. As to how much of a connection there is to Life is Strange 2, from what I know, it's not really it's not really known right now. Um, maybe, maybe some characters are going to be from this are going to be in Life is Strange 2. Maybe it's just kind of introducing you to this world that Life is Strange 2 is going to occupy, because um, it's going to be a different story with different characters from Life is Strange 1. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what a Don't Nod's going to do with Life is Strange 2. Um, they didn't make Before the Storm, and uh, they're coming back with Life is Strange 2 with a totally different story. So I'm really curious to see what direction it's going to go in. And uh, yeah, you guys can check it out for free if you want to. You can go to Steam or whatever and download it and uh, play along with me if you want. Without further ado, let's begin the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. Sort of like about chair to begin and I don't know where to begin somewhere in the desert there's a forest and an acre before us but I don't know where to begin but I don't know the music is so good I almost feel like maybe they find the music before they write the story is it always matches the mood so perfectly. Oh, be near me, tired old mare, with the wind in your hair. What is this planet? I don't know, we've never been here before. Maybe we're on the edge of the universe. Hey, cool. Let's see if we can find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. We have to get back to the ship right now. Then let's get the heck out of here. Oh no, the control panel's not working. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Hold on. Let me just give you a hand. It's a better voice actor than me. <laughs> Oh, I'm rumbling. Yay! The fake out. I am curious to see if this will feature like any kind of powers. No, it's just me, Captain Spirit, who can bend all matter to his will. I did it. I still got the power. Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. Oh, do we get to choose? I gotta have a cool cape to fly. Good thing I have one. I guess not. Mask or no mask? Oh, we Secret do. Secret identity or not? Mask or helmet? Hmm. I feel like mask is like the usual. Let's go helmet. Yep, looks cool so far. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know. What that about looks the armor? Cool. <laughs> Light armor or heavy armor? Mm, I'm a light armor guy. I already have like a goofy smile on my face. So cool. 
Should he be dark or colorful? Ooh, dark. Beware, Mantroid. Watch out. Captain Spirit is ready for battle. Is that supposed to be Captain Spirit's um, villain? Mantroid? Oh no, it is Captain Spirit, okay. That's pretty badass. Hello, Saturday morning. I can do anything I want today. Anything. All right, we're in control. I hope I can draw as good as mom someday. Oh, mom was, uh, was a drawer as well. Okay. Chris. That's who we are. We're Chris. Since you're going to be my own superhero, this book is a great start. You could be everything I am not. I can't wait uh, to spend the uh, rest of my life watching you save the world. Love forever, super mom. Oh, I see. I could do that, too. Okay. Hmm. I could do a training session with my power. Henry. Sorry. You're too cute to fight evil. Power bear. Secret map. The secret treasure is buried out there in the wild. Now, I have to locate the second part of the map. Oh. Got Hell Volcano, Forest of Trolls, also known as YouTube, Flying Fortress, uh, Sea of Darkness, Alien Fields. We're gonna get to explore all this stuff. That's gonna be cool. The Maze of Doom. So where is the? I see a couple circles there. Is that where the treasure is? Is that Evil Dog, Evil Dog of Satan? The Lonely Desert. Is that Dan the Terry something terrible? Android's team. Every superhero team needs a supervillain team. Okay, okay. So Mantroid is the is our villain. Watch out, supervillains. Today I make my own superhero costume. Tattoo. Oh, what did that say? It is time for my secret tattoo. Only my team will know what it means. Hold LT to see power actions when this icon appears. We have the power of tattoo. Nice. I can take the pain. At least I don't have to use any needles. Seems to really like this power bear. Man, I wanted to go to that. But dad had to watch the playoffs. The Super Comic Store Toys, Comics, and Games sale, December 1st to 2nd. Uh, playoffs are more important, I guess. Captain Spirit doesn't need weapons, but just in case. Oh. Are you ready for the ultimate battle of good versus evil? I'm ready. You can't win this battle, Noctarius. It's already over, Power Bear. Cool. I, this Ooh, is definitely me when I was a kid. Don't let Mantroid control you. Nobody controls me. Mantroid is my leader, and he wants you to die. <laughs> Give up now. We don't have to fight. You're not the boss of me, Power Bear. 
Oh. Oh, maybe we can convert him. You have amazing powers. Why don't you join our team? Join Captain Spirit? Are you serious? He's my enemy. Only because Mantroid brainwashed you. You can help the world with us. Liar. Where were you and Captain Spirit when Mantroid saved my life? Huh? Good guy? Oh. Shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nocturus. We want to be there for everybody. You're the enemy. Now take this. <laughs> oh, my back. How? How did you do this? I can't move. Captain Spirit, Captain Spirit. Please come to my aid. I can't defeat Nocturus on my own. Oh, here we go. I can't. Captain Spirit. Uh, Release him or destroy him? No, we're not going to destroy him. Let's release him. Release him, Power Bear. Oh, yeah. Captain Spirit's got your back, loser. He decided to spare you. That's a real hero. Now go back to your master. Me and Troy will get his revenge for me. Thank you for keeping me from the dark side, Captain. The dark side. Okay. Fred, breakfast. Charles. Uh. Okay, Dad. Oh, that's our dad. Who do we have to call? This is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Come in, come in. Roger, I'm here. I hope so, Sky Pirate. What do you see up there? Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. It's hard because of the storm. This is perfect cover for a Snowmancer sneak attack. I sharp. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. Roger that. Thanks, Sky Pirate. Over and out. I know you're out there, Snowmancer. Is there a baseball player too? I miss playing ball with my friends. Seems before like... we moved. Yeah, I was gonna say, it seems like we're out in the middle of nowhere. Chris. Hey, Spider Baby. I think you caught your lunch in your web. And there's a snail moving so fast. He's in one place. <laughs> Got DVDs and comic books. Hmm. This is a perfect day to watch Frozen. Last time Dad told me not to sing along so loud. I haven't seen Frozen yet. Sorry. Mom bought me so many cool comic books. She told me never throw them away. I won't. Maybe she was a comic book illustrator? It kind of seemed that. It was like that was the case. I've read this one so many times. Where the strange things went. Where the wild things are. I miss Hal. He feels like he's so far away, even though he lives on the other side of town. Chris, thanks for letting me read this. Now it's my turn to give you a look, a book to read. Your pal, Hal. <laughs> Creative. Your pal, Hal. Oh, the costume. Definitely. We're definitely putting that on. I can feel the energy flow through me. I have the power. <sighs> okay, that's a good start. But now it's time to build the rest of my costume. Chris, I mean now. <sighs> I heard you, jeez. I could take over the town with this army. Or the world. Okay. Advent calendar? Oh yeah, that's right, it's December, right? He did say breakfast. Jeez, good job, chocolate hog. <laughs> we already ate it. Only my brain waves can activate the monitor. Oh, I could do it. Yes. 
It's just nothing on the TV, okay. Of course. Dad said he was gonna fix that last month. Da Dad seems right. to be kind of selfish. What kind of a Viking would I be? Ralph the Viking. Oh, that's all it says. I swear I'm gonna kick your ass if I have to come get you. Wow. This isn't greedy, right, Santa? Plus, Dad will love that I want basketball lessons. I love that I have to try to... I don't like to use the, like, read thing. I like to try to figure out what it says. Dear Santa Claus, this is going to be a tough one, though. I think I have been good. Here's my list for Christmas. Hot Dog Adventures. Playbox? Play, oh, that's the console. Playbox console, black. Drawing paper and pens. Color. Basketball lessons. Cool. If the I don't go, Dad's going to be super mad. Okay. I want... Where's the rest of our uh, outfit, though? Guess I have no choice. We took too long. Hey, Chris, you better come to breakfast when I holler at you, or else we're gonna have a problem. But I... Don't. This isn't a hotel, buddy. I get things to do. I thought maybe I could do something there, but I couldn't. beers in the morning full fat milk <laughs> what'd you expect a waffle I just like sunny side up like mom used to make yeah me too but that's not gonna happen I know you can't keep saying Mom used to do this or that. I know more than anybody, Chris. I know. Okay? Mom's yeah. gone. Okay. Mm. You're drinking beer before you eat? Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's game day. Dads are allowed to drink early. Hey, I don't need a lecture from my son. Thanks. Maybe you do. I, I don't drink that much. I guess we don't know him that well so far. I mean, what am I supposed to do in this fucking town? Go to church like all these assholes? Jeez. I'm sorry. Don't swear, okay? I don't. Superheroes don't swear. <laughs> Looks like I'm off the team. Nah. You're cool. Like a rebel. Hey, is your, uh, your arm okay? Looks better. Oh, hey, man. Yeah. Ask you about it or, uh, say oh, anything no. at all? Well, it kind of hurts a little. Really? I, I can give you an ice pack and maybe one of my pills. No pain and no swelling. It makes me sad that I... That, that you got hurt. Oh, man, what it's the hell that happened? that bad. I'm fine. Okay, okay. <sighs> Don't bother you anymore. So, so you must be excited for Christmas. I'm always excited for Christmas. Intent. 
I was hoping Santa might maybe get me a new console since mine is broken. And Santa needs to get me a new job. It has to be a console. A basketball costs 10 bucks. Okay. Oh, since it's Saturday, are we gonna get a Christmas tree? You said we could get a real pine. Yes, I did, and yes, we are. But I just wanna watch the game before we go, okay? But you always fall asleep. <laughs> I won't today. And if I do, just wake me up and we'll go. Promise. Okay. You promise? I do. Better follow through, buddy. Things aren't looking good for you. I'll take advantage of your weekend. Perfect weather outside for you to play. Whatever. You're free. Come grab me later. You want to get on Captain Spirit's bad side. Oh, man. Okay. All right, are we free now? Okay. What would Captain Spirit do? Oh, we got a list. My awesome things to do. I can make Captain Spirit's costume now. Maybe I can find what I need around. Captain Spirit's treasure is buried around here somewhere. I need to assemble the two parts of the map to find the way. I have to find the other part of the map. Hmm, I can practice my target skills on these dangerous beer cans. Looks like Snowmancer wants to destroy our town. Only I can stop him this time. I bet Mantroid is still hiding on his planet with my full costume. I could use my spaceship and find him. My superhero team is strong, but I better keep my eyes on Mantroid and his supervillains. I could play Mustard Party too, but I need to unlock Dad's phone. I can't let the water, the water eater defeat me this time. The water eater. The water heater. <laughs> so I guess, um, let's do our target practice. They're not selected. I just need to find these things. Mega clean. Crap. Jesus, what was that? What the hell are you doing in there? <sighs> Oops. We'll just pretend like that didn't happen. I've never seen a beaver around here. The best damn town in America. Oh, God. No comment. Add ice cream. <laughs> of Let's course. Let's see. Come on. What do we need? Oh, yeah. Score. It's in the fridge. Ooh. Oh, I can cook. Take out the trash. Someone's got to do the work around here. Oh, power trash. <laughs> Are we just gonna knock it over? Zap! The awful green things are flushed into space. Perfect. Okay, what's going on in the news? Boring. Uh, not for me. I like to read the stuff. The Great Northwest. Local police face more protests and shooting death. Seattle. Okay. Small riots and protests have continued to mount one month after the unexplained death of a local man and a police officer. An official statement from the police has not been released, but sources say the man appeared to have been shot by the officer, while well, the uh, latter's uh, cause of death remains unknown. The Seattle Police Department have been accused by civil rights groups of mishandling the incident, 
which led to the public protests and rioting around Seattle. Oh, oh, we can we use this? Ooh, this can make a pretty good helmet. Yes. Wear it. Are you serious? Nice. One more piece and I'm almost done. There's my hot dog, man. <laughs> Join the revolution. Want to play with hot dog, man? Take a picture of your kid covered with mustard and send it over? Lots of hot dog, man, exclusive toys to it every month. Okay. I can't see dad selling homes. Get real about your future. Become a realtor today. I was looking for jobs, I guess. Whoa, is he getting us tickets again? Best dad ever. Ooh, Hero Con. Oh, Portland, right. Portland City Center. That would be a blast being a freight hopper. Choo choo. To all employees, recently our Beaver Creek field offices, so we live in Beaver Creek, have received multiple complaints about unruly teenage freight hoppers in the area. They have a minor reputation around the Northwest, so please do not let them provoke you into a confrontation. Instead, if you encounter any problem or situation involving this group, please report it immediately to your supervisor. If you have any questions, please contact me by email or during office hours. Mike Stevenson. Oh, those are dad's pages. Yeah, basketball. I like how he wants to get us a basketball, too. It's kind of like it's probably his dream that we become a basketball player. Unlock the phone. Ah, I need a pin code. What is it? I have no Dead idea. Dog. I could guess, but you know what's gonna happen is I'll try a few times and then it'll just lock permanently. Oh, okay. I might use the reading on this one. <laughs> Dear Charles, we just wanted to let you know how much we both care about you and Chris. I know life has been hard since Emily left us, but we're still a family and we intend to keep it that way. That includes making sure Chris is getting all the care he needs at his fragile age. We've always been honest with you, so please take our concern as a sign of our love, the way you loved our beautiful daughter. We also heard through a friend that you were in some kind of a bar fight, but the police declined to arrest you. Thank God. Please take care of yourself. To cut to the chase, we want to help, so we hope you'll allow us to take care of Chris for the next year. For as long as you need, and consider joining a support group. Oops, is there more to the letter? There is. Grandma and Grandpa are so cool, but no way I'm ever leaving Dad. We're not judging you in any way, only showing that we care by offering our home and love to your wonderful son. The letter seems impersonal, but we want you to think of, uh, think without pressure. Makes sense. Forgive, forgive, forgive us if you feel we have overstepped our bounds. This is only uh, about how much we love you and Chris. We're here for you both, always, Peter. Okay. Pin number, pin number. I wonder why Dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. <laughs> we can shoot Dad. Definitely. He's gonna hate this. <laughs> Shot. Ow, cheap <laughs> shot. I'm going down. <laughs> okay. That's not how it works. You can't kill the zombie jock. No way. That was a headshot. I am a super zombie. <laughs> well, I'm a superhero. Can't argue with that. Zombie down. Captain Spirit strikes back. Uh, books, photo. Hmm, let's check this out. Cities of the Pain 50. Western movies to die for. Ooh, that looks scary. The Nightshade I Diaries. I wish I could have gone on a hike with Mom. Secret Hiking Trails of Oregon. This has to be Mom's. She liked art. T 
Teen Spirit Seattle, 1992, 1995. Okay. Phone numbers. Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Was it cool Pizzeria, uh, Reynolds, Dad's cell phone? Hmm. I don't know if that's going to be a hint as to his uh, unlock code. You think it's 6372? So popular. 2005. Dad never smiles like that anymore. Oh, okay. So he was, uh, he was a big basketball player. If I could go back in time, I'd go see him play. He looks so different in his basketball outfit. 2005 then maybe when he won the championship worth a shot Embers left. Oh yeah, that's how you dominate. That's it. <laughs> that's how you put that log in the fire. It's <laughs> dominate. And that is how you shoot the ball. <laughs> On fire all night. Never. Who talks like that when they're watching sports? <laughs> Dad reads these. I think he just takes them from work. Okay. Um, what's this? Oh, dinosaur toy. Dinosaur land is open for business. Eat everybody. I am more T-Rex, and you are my life. Eat the basketball players. This dinosaur won't eat a grumpy old dad, right? Right? I don't know. You behave. Hi, Def TV. Can't use my Why powers. does he drink that if it just makes him mad? Can't use my powers. Dad. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Hey, can you get that? Guess so. glorious day um okay hey who is that who keeps calling i don't know uh who is this thank you for asking young man my name is derek and i'm a proud member of the universal uprising church oh yeah i'd love to tell you and your family about jesus our righteous lord and savior our church just wants you and your loved ones to share the holy spirit spirit um we're just watching the game. Well, always remember that our Lord is watching out for you. By the way, is your mother or father available to speak? 
Well, I have to ask first. Chris, who the hell are you talking to? Nobody, Dad. Jesus is... <laughs> See ya. Can I, can I do the, uh... Magic from this side? No, I can't. Evaporate. <laughs> I see what you're doing. Stop it. I didn't do anything. We gotta work on that. So. Other options for unlocking the phone. Dad. Chris, I know what you're doing. Stop. Seven, no. Stat book. Dad loves his stat notebooks. Maybe there's something in no, there. No. Uh, he won't. No. He won't let me look at it. Can you fall from that piece of shit. Stand in front of the game. You Pay attention suck. to me. I bet the water eater is sleeping again. Oh, yes, the water eater. We don't have our outfit, though. We need our costume. Interview. Welcome to WHERO. Today, we are honored to have an interview with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit. Hello, Beaver Creek. Captain Spirit, when do you think you will defeat Mantroid? Mantroid is a bully and a coward. He can't hide, but he can run. We heard reports that he is putting together a team of supervillains. Do you have any message for them? Oh. Um. We'll forgive them. Through that, we're gonna crush him. My message is that Mantroid will never win, and I will find you, and I will crush you. Yes, that is what this town wants to hear. That's my job, and that's why we love you. Can you tell us who your superheroes are? Oh. Yeah. My parents are my biggest heroes. I bet they're happy to hear that. Can you give us a hint about how you discovered your epic powers? Mm, no. Good question. <laughs> okay, <Just> no. <laughs> do you have any final words for your audience? Just no. Be nice and always fight for the good team. Thank you, Captain Spirit, for being our hero. And now back to W-H-E-R-O News. Perfect. Uh, razor. I wonder when I can start to shave. You don't Super want to, kid. Hero shave. I can't believe Dad let me put these stickers here. Maybe he likes them too. Another comic book. <laughs> I never get tired of Hot Dog Man. Never. <laughs> hot Dog Man, <laughs> the handsome Hot Dog Man, alone and forgotten. Is that it? The end of Hot Dog Man. <laughs> Man, I love this issue. Oh, he got splashed? Oh, and then, what is that, Bread Boy? Picks him up? Wish I could draw like this. Oh, it's Mustard. Mustard Molly. Uh. <laughs> oh, no. Evil Mustard. Cracks itself. <laughs> I'm gonna crush you like peanuts. It's alright. <laughs> so you're mustard too? I like mustard. I'm gonna empty you big time. <laughs> That's pretty legit funny. No diving today, Nemo. Okay, well, we need to complete our costume. 
Now look at the scoreboard, motherfuckers. Whoa. All right. The shark stinger. Got a basketball. At least the forest warrior protects me from the snow ghost. So he's on our side. Here comes the shark stinger. Shark stinger looks like, uh, it's probably not on our side. Let's see. Ooh, the shark stinger is looking for victims. Evil car! Ah! That pedestrian better get out of the way. Whoa. Nice. That was your last ride, Shark Stinger. Yes, Captain Spirit saved us. You'll never run over anybody again. Okay, so where do we get our, the last piece of our outfit? In the bag, maybe? So glad I did my Hango homework already. Miss Stroud's pretty nice, and she likes my stories. Okay, it's not the weapon. Nothing in here. That was a fun birthday party at Pizza Arcade. I hope that it'll be cool next year. Okay. So what are our other options? I think there's a room over here we can go to. We never use this door in winter because of the snow. Aha. Ew, these clothes even smell dirty. I got it, Dad. Don't worry. Now you will learn your lesson and stay clean. I hope I set this right. Ah, Christmas decorations. Dad doesn't want a set of Christmas decorations yet. Ah. Makes him pick them up. Oh, okay. I can understand what's going on here. Oh God, I hate going in there. Wait, what's in there? Oh, it's the water eater. No more fear. I have to face this monster. The city needs hot water. We got this.
Easy enough. Yes. That's pretty neat. Kid's got a vivid imagination. Well, that wasn't too hard. I've tamed the water beast. So we've, um, I guess we need like gloves or something like that. We've tamed the water beast. Oh, I see. And we need to uh, find all of Mantroid's super villains. Nice. Hey, Dad. The water heater was down again, so I fixed it. Wow. You put it back on? Congrats, buddy. That's right. I know you hate getting in there. Hey. Hey, sports fan. You up for watching the game with your favorite MVP? Sure, Dad. How's the game going? We're kicking their asses for once. I like it. Cool. I like it when the good guys win. Yep, me too. Oh, okay. Um... Did you and Mom watch a lot of games? Oh, uh, well, actually, she, she wasn't a big sports fan. Mm. Really? Funny, huh? But she liked to sit next to me and read. You got that from her, for sure. That's cool. What did I get from you? Hmm. Well, my hero skills, right? I get confused by basketball rules. It's like math, you know, but fun. You just have to start watching more games. Maybe we can get a basketball video game and play together. That's not exactly how you learn to play, but it's a start. So, when do you think we'll go get the pine tree? I told you, right after the game. You're not going to bug me all day, right? No. You're going to fall asleep. Sorry. Okay. I'll see you later. I'll let you watch the game now. Yeah, fine. Just get me when it's over. Uh, get ready for the tree. Can we get one that's like 10 feet tall? <laughs> Only if you cut one down, Viking. We might need a bigger castle, too. Okay, what's over here? Is this his room? Yeah. Let's go. I'm glad Dad kept Mom's perfume. It smells just like her. It's kind of sad. I hope I get to go practice with Dad again this summer. I'm too old to be measured now, right? Never too old. I still do it every year. Maybe we could find something in here. Locked. Oh. I wonder what dad keeps in here. Hmm. Lots of beer cans. If I smoke in the fortress, I'm breaking the superhero code. Let's see what he's into. Two sons? Oh, I love these moments in Life is Strange.
so great for just it, I don't it really makes you feel like you're in this world these sections okay I think it's I think it's time to get up we've got lots to do Listening to mom's old records. We could steal a cigarette. Whoops. Dad loves his cancer sticks. Gross. Wonder what they taste like. They taste disgusting. That's what they taste like. Open and close inventory. Ah. Oh, I could use this to make some cool armor. There we go. Nice. Yes. This will totally protect me from Mantroid. My suit is almost ready. After I get some paint. Some paint? Oh. Shoot, that's way too high for me to reach. Here we go. Can't use our telekinetic powers. I'm afraid of what I might find here. Dad was so angry at the police. April 10th, 2015. Dear Captain Lee, since you have not answered my calls or emails, I'm sending this letter as more proof that I have been more diligent about this case than you or the police department. It's your duty to keep the citizens and taxpayers safe. I hope to hear back soon or you'll be hearing from me, Charles Erickson. I remember Dad yelling on the phone a lot. September 28th, 2016. This was more than a year later. Mr. Charles Erickson, although I appreciate that uh, what you have gone through the past few years, I'm afraid that I have exhausted all my resources in regards to this difficult investigation. If you wish to discuss the matter uh, without another angry message, I'm always available to talk. In respect to your case, I am only invoicing you for one month's work. Private eyes, McCollings. Jeez. Dad wrote a lot of letters. Dear Mr. Erickson, we regret to inform you that street surveillance data is not available for Asteroid Drive in Mantle Street, nor to the general public unless accompanied by an official state or federal investigation. So we cannot help you with your inquiry. We hope your local Oregon law enforcement uh, law enforcement will assist you further. Uh, best Barbie Brackamont State Highway Monitor. That was even before uh, first letter. So this must be the something whatever happened to our mother it must be that investigation. She died mysteriously. We need to get some paint. Hmm. Mom and Dad would always let me sleep with them whenever I got scared. Hello? I know this drawing sucks, but it's cool that Dad put it here. Yeah, it's not that bad. Light on. Okay, let's check this out. Careful of booby traps. Oh, 
Wow, Dad had fans when he was playing in high school. Um, dear Charles Erickson, I am 12 and I want to play pro basketball one day. My parents take me to all your games. You're great on the court. The last game was the best I've ever seen. I hope you're drafted for an NBA team. Thank you uh, and see you at the next game, Todd Hamill. That's scary. Yeah, he, uh, he does appear to be an alcoholic. So we moved because dad couldn't pay for the house? That sucks. This is around the time, so this is uh, June 2015. This is around the time of those letters being sent with the investigation. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Erickson, our records show you have missed your third mortgage payment despite repeated extensions and assurances. While we understand and sympathize with every homeowner situation, our office feels we have been more than fair in granting you multiple extensions. If you do not pay this mortgage by the due date, we will be forced to foreclose on the property. Hope to resolve this issue with you soon. Dad got fired? That's when he started working for the railroad. So he was a coach. Dear Coach Erickson, Although our faculty respects your legacy and dedication, you have been reprimanded more than twice for your aggressive behavior. And with this recent incident involving beer cans and the pool after hours, we feel our only option is to terminate your contract immediately. We're sorry for this situation, but in the interest of safety, we know you understand that our students always come first. We've included a pamphlet with information on resources for alcohol-related issues. I hope you find future success. Superintendent. Oh, I thought it said Magnum. <laughs> That's intense. Oh. Mm, Dad never told me he had a new friend. Charles, I'm sorry about what I said the other night. I was just pissed you don't seem to listen to me when I express myself. My job can be very stressful and I know it stresses you out. So that's why I want to be more involved in your world. I hate to see you get so sad when you make me so happy. I'm still waiting to meet your son, and I get the feeling you might be ashamed of me. Don't be angry. I hope I'm wrong, but you do say things that hurt my feelings. I care for you in so many ways, and I just had to express myself so you understand. I think about you and me together, so I hope you know this message comes from a place of love in my heart. Your tiny dancer, Audra. Dad used to always talk about this basketball. Oh. My. God. <laughs> we spoiled the surprise. Dad actually got me the new play box? No way. Guess that's it. Can we return the key? Oh, it's gone now. Oh, fist mark. I've never seen Dad get that mad. It really scares me. Oh, man. She loved this song. I haven't listened to it since... for a long time. A long time. Oh, uh, he's talking about hey, this. Hey, buddy. Can you bring me a beer? Uh, nah. You already drank a lot of beer. Thanks, bartender. Now get me the goddamn beer, okay? Okay, okay. That's right, it's okay. By the way, I did the dishes and the laundry. Fix the water oh, that's heater. That's a nice cold one. Cheers. Just chugging it? Man, that was fast, <sighs> Dad. Well, excuse me. Okay, I'll slow down, Chris. This empty can is evil. Would Captain Spirit take care of it? Really? Yeah. Step aside, Mr. Erickson. Captain Spirit is here to recycle. Hey, <laughs> you better hurry. This can's gonna destroy the town. Man, that was too close. Thanks, Captain Spirit. 
I'm always here to lead my team to victory. All right. Um, can I grab this gun? Sorry, Just, Pop. It's war. There's something about shooting beer cans, right? So we need paint. Buried treasure. Dangerous beer cans. Hmm. Let me just see. Is there something to do over here? Ew. Sticky beer cans. The beer can monster cannot be. <laughs> I'm not going strong enough to crush it. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I could cook something for Dad. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. There's, um... Yeah. Mac and cheese. Drink it a lot. You gotta have some Beginning food. Beginning countdown to launch. Five, four, three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Fry, big. Okay, I guess we go outside. Sylvan, um, yeah. <laughs> that was not a foul. Someone have a code for that. Should we put a code on to go outside though? It looks pretty cold out there. That's how it's done. Yes. Almost done. Oh, garage key. Hi. Missed that before. Still in progress. Three seven seconds, okay. I can use the phone. Um call that. <laughs> mm. Let me guess, he's just gonna ignore it. I want mac and cheese after what uh, oh he's sleeping I hate seeing him like this what Why does he drink that if it just makes him mad? Oh, he's just really uh, drunk. I hate seeing him like this. So he, we're not going to bring him the food? Okay. Guess we're going to go outside. Ah, there it is. There's the coat. Uh, 
power boots. All right, I'm going to wrap up this first episode. Captain Spirit here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one. This is Lucas Lovelock signing off for now, and I love you all.